Base heads. We had loads. I'm gonna try to see if I can find some plexiglass for that wall real quick. Boy, I about messed my leg up this morning. Twisted it on the foyer, sprayed some Febreze in the hardwood floor. One way, leg went one way and one went another leg way. That's why I'm limping. Oh. Anyway, let's go in here and check this out. All right, dudes. I guess I'm gonna have to just view the wood for today and just wait and order some because look. This is thick as it is, guys. I mean, it, all of it. That's the thickest. Even up here, it may be a little thicker. It needs to be like three quarter inch at least for a window, you know, to see the subs. Can't use this, it'll be too much flex and then it'll vibrate and it'll rattle and you'll hear it, especially on a fourth order. So I need that. I'm gonna use a three quarter inch birch. And I messed up one of the pieces of birch yesterday, dudes. So I might have, to, I got another piece of birch, but it's that, uh, that stuff you get from here from Lowe's, the blonde wood. But I'll fix that up. I'm gonna have to buy a whole nother sheet of the good birch just to fix that one board. But for now, it'll work. We're gonna. Go, I'm gonna go over to Boom Daddy's here soon. But I can't use this stuff, guys. Well, unfortunately, I don't think they got any thicker. Well, this is where to cut it, but I don't see any thicker. So. We're getting out of here. I got too much stuff to do. We'll just put the wood on it. You won't see the subs at first, but you guys know what's in there. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Boom Daddy had some other stuff he had to do today. So I'm going to have to hold off on finishing the fourth order. We'll get to it tomorrow. But I got that wire for the fourth channel, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I ended up checking these out sooner or later, too. Especially this one, the DD1. I got I want to put them lights in there but in that box in that fourth order but I, I can't really do it until I get like some plexiglass and Lowe's only had that real thin shit so anyway I got everything set up out here I put some new stickers on the car too that old American baseman I, I don't know if some of the older subscribers probably know that it kept peeling off every time I went to the car wash I know my tent's falling off I got to get that shit redone dudes I mean it looks really good when it ain't but um anyway so I had the new Sundown Audio ones, and I put that one there, put the Sky High one there, and, and on the other side, another Sundown Audio as well. That's one Ray gave me. Boom, Daddy. Anyway, as you see, I got some crappy wire for the 4 channel. Now, the 8K's always had good wire, but I've just always like, you know, I knew the 4 channel doesn't put out a tremendous amount of power so i didn't ever really sweat it but today all oh, that's changing i got some new four gauge that's going to go real good because that's four gauge but it's um that cheap install gear crap when i got with an amp i first started doing this again and then these lugs and the shrink wrap so let me get to it taking this amp out and I'll show you guys. Sky High sent me two of these stickers. I, don't, I found one on the ground. I only thought they sent me one because I put it up here. I put the Sundown stickers on both sides now instead of the American base. And I got this four gauge wire from Sky High. Pretty good shit. It's better than this shit I had in here. This is that old CCA shit. All right, here's uh, the Sky High wire I put in. Replace that old CCA crap I had for the four channel. I always had good wire on here, like I said, but I just didn't ever take time out to do this one, but I did this time. I know they're just laying up here all the wires. I'll end up doing this back part after I get this fourth order done. But these are sky high four gauge, just really good wire, you know, and I got shrink wrap and on the battery. That bolt there is underneath here, but I ain't taking all this out to get it, so. But well, dudes, I gotta get up on this fourth order and get this thing done. It's freaking beautiful out. And that's what we love here on Bass Junkie 2020. Beautiful days and loud bass. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Just give it a good look. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got the sub out. Whew. My legs messed up, man. I messed my knee up. I need to go to the hospital. I don't wait till after uh, 
I get this done. I think I popped it out of place yesterday, but I got this out. Looking good. I can't wait to get the other one tomorrow. I feel like Gullum on uh, Lord of the Ring. It's my precious. My precious. <gasps> my precious. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i feel about it but i mean i've had all kinds of different subs man mvx and everything but sundown is the shit i'm just telling y'all so let me get back to work all right dudes i took the box out i'm gonna uh make some braces for it because i ain't using double baffle i can't because these things here where my suicide doors close keeps the box from getting any higher and we can't put more baffles in it because it'd make the box higher for volume to get the tuning so i had to keep it low that's why i'm gonna add bracings to the box right now i'm gonna put some brace here on this side and here on this side and there's one in the middle so you know like kind of like a triangle that should support it pretty good so that's what i'm doing now i added two braces we got the one that me and boom daddy did come on camera focus all right i got the one in the center that me and him did and then i added two more here this is some scrap. I got my other two by fours for the sides that are going to be on it. Painted the port black best I could. I ran out of paint. But at least it'll be a little darker. It'll look better because you're pretty much going to see just the port. You won't see this top part of the wood. That's going to be screwed down. But it's only going to be the port. But I always shadow it like that. Gives it more depth look. When I get the plexiglass, I'll, I'll clean all that up. I'll probably paint everything a different color. I'll prime it all and whatever. But... For now, it's just going to be solid wood. You won't even see the subwoofer. Subwoofer. This is going to be a fourth order. I had to add another brace. That way I could screw all the way down. Because when me and Boom Daddy were doing it, we only had the two squares and there was a piece missing here. So I'm going to add, I'm going to cut this piece of wood where it goes to here. And I have something to screw to now. So it'll be solid, screwed off, and sealed. So this piece of wood is going to go shoop like that up to that one that's how i might have to cut it but she's coming along see you won't be able to see the subwoofers all you're going to see is this port once i get it done until i get some plexiglass and i need thick thick plexiglass but for now it'll be fine you know i might paint this white you don't got to see the subwoofers you all know what they are but i still like looking at the cones and stuff i want the whole thing plexiglass the whole square eventually we'll get to that but let's just get this thing together so tomorrow when I get that sub, I just throw it in. We'd be booming. Guys, I'll show you a little bit of the bracing I got on here. It goes back there. I'm going to continue two by fours up tomorrow. I've got a headache and my leg hurts, so I'm going to call it quits for tonight. But it's getting there. I'm going to take that board off over there on that side, put the sub in that side. And then I get the other sub tomorrow, so I'll put it on this side. And then I'm going to do something with this front and the top and the bottom and all that. But I got it pretty good now. It's it's solid in there. It ain't going nowhere for sure. So when I get done with this, it's gonna look good. It'll be all like I'm gonna try to close the door if you look in there. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna put a board here, a two by four right here, and flat ways, and then I can put a piece of birch on it to, to conform to the I already got the templates for the door. So that'll be sealed. And I'll do the bottom as well. I got this side the same way. Working on it, you know what I mean? We're getting there, guys. Turn my speaker over. I just didn't want to drop nothing on it. But it's getting there. I got to get something on the top here. And so I got a piece for that, too. I had to take my console out so I can unscrew this. Go ahead and unscrew it now. Check it out. That's right behind the seat. I took that side off so I can put the sub in, get it ready for tomorrow. I'll take this side off when the other one comes in tomorrow, wire them up, and then put the fronts on. Then I'll finish closing this off. We badass, boy. Right up on us, too, boy. All right, guys. Real quick unboxing. Got the 15 in. So I'll show you guys what I got done. I got an appointment today, too, so I ain't got a lot of time to get this done. But let me open this up. This came from down for sound. All right, guys. Come on, camera, focus. Yeah. Dang, this camera. Got down for sound sticker right here. Which I expected to get that anyway. They come with a lanyard. Hell yeah. 
I mean, this one says Sundown Audio. Cool. I thought I was going to say Down for Sound, but that's cool. I already got one of those. But mine's a little different. Now I got two of them. Cool. Volt meter, which I needed another one. And hook that up. A Down for Sound t shirt. Let me see what it looks like. Check it out real quick. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Dang. Certified bass head. Boy, that shit's cool as hell. Look at that. Got Down for Sound on the sleeve. Hell yeah, I'll be wearing that to the shows and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's up. Let's see. Ooh. Yep, that's nice. Ooh, it's got Down for Sound on the back of the shirt, too. Turn it around. That's straight. Like that. And then what we all been waiting for, the 15. Why does that thing look sitting sideways? Boy, it looked like they threw this thing around. Gotta make sure this thing ain't messed up, so give me a second. All right, guys. It looks like it's all right. It was leaning sideways. They must have had it, the box sideways. Crazy people. But it seems to be okay, so it looks just like the other one. So that's all that matters. Anyway, that's cool about the shirt and all that. And then my meter and my new sticker. I need the sticker. I'll put that sticker back here somewhere. Down for sound, probably right up here or right there, maybe. That's a big open spot right there. So, probably right there. We'll worry about that in a little while, though. And then we'll get this meter hooked up up front. We'll do that probably tonight. Show you what I got so far. Got that piece up there. Then I got pieces that are going to go on the side here. I got to do some more 2 by 4 work. I got to put a 2 by 4 here and trim. That way I can put the speakers back on the bottom. Got to get the speakers in the box. Drill a hole, put wire through it. Oh, I still got a lot of work. Screw the speakers down, which is going to be hard close to that port over here. I'll try to get it where the screws are. I might use an extension. The kind of thing sucks about slot ports when they're in a small, cramped space. I had to take both of them, or take the other one back out so I can wire them to run jumpers. You can't see it when it's sitting in the box. That's why I never screwed them down yet. But there's both of them together. Boy, they're looking good, ain't you guys? Love that mega real surround on these things. Anyway, let me get back to work on this thing. I'm getting run low on time here. Look at this skull out my dad gave me. We got it turned off now. Let me turn the thing back on. Where the hell is it? Haha, <laughs> ain't that cool? Anytime it hears noise, it's got a thing you can hang it from. I used to. <laughs> I might put it in the video. I couldn't stand it all the time, though. All right, guys, I'm not even done with it. I ran out of time. <clears throat> but I scrapped in wood. I got it sealed off. This guy, I ran out of foam. I need a couple more cans to finish it. But, I mean, I got it sealed all the way to the back. It's sealed. And I got the speakers up front again. Got the top. I got to trim all that shit. Wait for that. I don't even want to touch that shit while it's wet. But this, I'm going to show you this. I have these from the last build. And I can use these. They can go in here. I'm going to cut new ones tomorrow. To go on here. Let me show you. Dang it. I don't want to touch that stuff. But see. It seals it. Perfect. It'll go all the way up. And then, you know what I mean? I'll seal that little hole with some foam. And I'll come down here. I'll bring the wood down farther. I'll cut it longer. Then there'll only be that little gap, which I'll put some of that that uh, insulated tubing. I got to turn those speakers, too, because I had to put them long ways instead of kicked out and how I had it before. But that's how it'll be. It'll be something like this. So it's going to be cool. Let me see if I can put my seat back. Something like that. Something like that. Put my seat mount. But hell yeah. So I just got to trim that stuff up. It's all wet. The other side's probably almost dry, but I just added a little more to it. I'm going to try to give you all a little demo. I got to trim all this up. Some of it got in my car. I don't even want to touch it. Like, see how that stuff is still wet. And that stuff's hard as hell to get off your hands, dudes. Throw that thing out there. Get off. See? <laughs> get on that pole. There you go. Alright. See, it's on my finger now. Probably can't get that crap off. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, 
that's what's up. I left a little hole to work on the wires. I'm gonna take a razor and trim this stuff up pretty good tomorrow. That needs to be pushed on there, actually. And that should be go. Oh dang it! This stuff's so nasty. I, just, I don't even need to touch this stuff. But anyway, that's all I can do for tonight, you guys. It's get starting to get dark out, and I'm gonna try to play a song. I gotta wait for this to dry a little bit though, or that shit'll be going everywhere. So if you look, once I put those trim pieces on, like this side over here, see how it's filled, and I'll have that foam on the ends of those. It'll be only that little hole, and I'll have to keep that open for my seat mount, but I can I can put foam up in that little corner, and that'll be the same over here too. So it won't be that much. Right now it's pretty good, but I do need them front pieces to finish it. And I ran out of time, so I'm not going to mess with it no more tonight. I have did a lot today anyway. I got the other sub in. I wired both subs, put them in. I had everything out. So I put a little bit more foam back here. I got to trim all this shit up too once it dries. All right, I had moved my light wire forward i gotta do something with that fabricate that and put it up here somewhere put it on front of that wood still got to do that too um i salvaged that where i put that tar amp sticker on there and colored it in i was able to salvage most of it and put it on there from the wall build so what do you guys think i think i did all right i mean you guys see i braced the shit out of it you know what i mean and i i got it blocked off i did it the way you're supposed to i mean it's in pieces but you know, I had to wedge some in, this and that. But I mean, it's 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 solid. And then back there, you know, of course, it's got two by fours on the wall back there and everything else. So once I get these trim pieces on here, it'll be totally walled on a fourth order. So it's gonna be dope. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, fellas. Check it out, base heads. Freaking food of champions. Tortina pizza rolls, boy. We're fixing the munch now before we get out there and get back on this fourth order today. Sorry, this video wasn't posted last night. I fell asleep with my phone in my hand. So, I'm, it's all right, though, because by the time I got done doing work on it, it had got dark on me because I had an appointment yesterday. So, I didn't have time to really film during the daylight hours for the demo. So, I, you couldn't really see nothing. I'm not even going to include that into it. I'm just going to uh, continue the video today. Probably be a long video. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to I'm gonna go out there and do more work on it. I'm going to go get some more, um, go get some more um, foam and uh, stuff that I need. And uh, put those panels on. I, I, I want to try to hook that voltage meter up, too, if I can. And then get you all a demo. Um, I might go meet up with Boom Day later, but that'll be an entirely different video if I do that. But, uh, yeah. See, I like the fourth order. Um, it's not doing exactly what I want it to, but, I mean, it's it's hitting hard. Uh, maybe when I seal it off a little more. One thing I don't like about it is you can't see the subwoofers and those sundowns, the, the uh, surrounds on them are so awesome. They got that mega roll surround. Now, I really want to see that, so I might change the design, even though I just built this. I don't even know, because I, I really like seeing them if I can't find no, uh, like, three-quarter inch at least, up to an inch plexiglass. I need something super solid, you know, and then I'll plexiglass that whole thing and just cut, cut the vent out, you know. So, you guys know anything, um, any, any places I can get that stuff for at a good price? Please leave that in the comments. Anyway, let me get this pizza rolls in the oven. So we got double ovens over here. So that uh, I can eat and get out there and get this shit done. I'm running on like 11 o'clock now, almost 12. Slept in a little bit. I was tired today. Anyway, see y'all out there in a minute. Before I run uptown, get this other stuff I need real quick to finish this, I want to show you guys. This came in today. It came in separately from the 15. I ordered this as well from Down for Sound. Almost didn't know what it was at first. Oh. Give me a second. Dude, how awesome is that? This is a a coronavirus mask it says down for sound on it i'll take it out and show you here in one second the cool thing is they sent me another freaking sticker dudes 
Woohoo! Well, we love stickers on Base Junkie 2020. If your car ain't stickered up, I don't know what's up. Anyway, let's get it out the pack. What do y'all think? It's got the down for sound on the side of it. Pretty cool, huh, dudes? I like it because it's black, too. It fits pretty good. Not bad, you know what I mean? We love it here on Base Junkie 2020. Thank you, JP. You're the man, brother. <laughs> anyway, we gotta get this, uh, we gotta get this, um, fourth order done. I'm gonna fix and go up the hardware store and get a few more things for us, so stay tuned, dudes. Get out, cause I don't want slugs. I just put it in they butt. And if they want the nut, it's at the mouth. What? Yeah, I'll be stuck in like my daddy with some hoes on in the caddy. And my dick ain't far from shabby. That's why hoes I want it badly. They be blowing up my celly, begging for me. Guys, we back at my favorite hardware store. I gotta pick a couple cans of foam real quick so we can finish this fourth order. Get them two panel pieces on and foam it up a little bit more. Go inside and see who's here, see if my boy is here. Garbage truck was parked on my forehead or something. Shit felt like my head was gonna kick me. Damn. Straight base. back base heads i've been uh trimming up some of this foam trying to make it look better so it ain't all over the damn place this is gonna get filled up more i'm gonna add i'm gonna get this off make some new ones for it i want to clear coat the front make it nice and glossy give it a nice shine fabric so i trimmed this side too trimmed it up some that's ugly still but it's gonna get foamed over and then eventually I'll, I'll clean it up but i cleaned all this up um it's way better so Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video with uh, Chris Salone at our local hardware store. Thanks, Chris. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Shoot me that video that you took. Anyway, let's get back to work. Let's get this thing done. Real quick, I want to show you what I got real quick. I got three more cans of the big gap stuff filler. A couple little regular paint brushes and then some foam ones and some uh this is the clear coat i used on that one good box guys so i figure on the front of that i'll keep that top board white with the tar amps and then throw this clear coat on the bottom give it a little character probably put some roundovers on the port too sooner or later i'm gonna get a little pvc pipes that'll fit it to blend in and some of that aluminum tape like uh jake fire does we're getting there we're building it up let's tune in dudes all right peeps i done figured out me a good pattern got the template here my traces on that one for the other side so I have carbon copies. Actually, this one needs to be three quarter inch longer, but it'll suit me for, I'll put it like this on the other side. And I'll show you on this side real quick. Took me a little bit to get the shape, but I got it. You won't see all the splintering because it'll be reversed. But I mean, it's a little gap there, but once you put that pipe foam on it, you'll never see none of that. See how it's a little short? I'll throw it on the other side. That pipe foam, I can put it on this, on the other side. But uh, I gotta reverse it anyway because of the splintering. So the other one, I gotta make sure that I cut 
opposite so that I don't I have the splintering reverse for this side and I'll make it longer but I don't want the pipe stuff to only go to here but this one on the other side will be an exception it'll be fine because once it's in there and sealed in there put a little cock in that right there and then I'm gonna clear coat all this I salvage some tar amp stickers put them on here you know this board's still rough I'm gonna end up getting that oh shoot i forgot boom daddy asked me to look for a three inch hole saw and i completely forgot i'm gonna go in there and look real quick we about to the point to uh start putting a little clear coat on making things look better because i just got i just cut out perfect forms for the doors dudes man look at this thing it's like a guitar get down get down yeah yeah anyway i had to use that we got like three different jigsaws but i, I chose the old square body anyway Look at that. I ain't got them screwed down or nothing, though. You know what I mean? Shaped them up, dogs. Look at there. Look at that. I mean, a little gap, but that gap going to be closed with that, that, that pipe uh, foam stuff. You know what I mean? This one, like, perfect, dude. I mean, once it sit there, get it back there a little bit. But I'm going to throw clear coat on that thing, shine it, shine it. And then I'm going I'm to fix this stuff up here another day. I'm just trying to get this done so we can do something. You know, I got a lot of other things. I got to make that base knob still for y'all. Y'all need to participate in that, man. We're holding back on the base knob now. Anyway, check it. This one got a little bit. Like I said, that, that pipe foam will completely fill that. You kind of do want a little bit of recess when you're doing it. You know what I mean? Damn, that, that's like the green side of the fuck, uh, freaking birch, man. Damn. Oh, well. Once I put that clear coat, it, it should all blend in. It's gonna look good. Like I said, I ha only hole I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have to keep something here for my seat belt, and I gotta fabricate something for my light. Right, there's the wires right there, but we'll get it, bros. This thing's coming out sweet, dude. Man, I really appreciate your help with this, Boom Daddy. You knew I threw it together the rest of the way. Just stay tuned, y'all, man. Subscribe to Base Junkie 2020 and join our group, dude. We got a lot of cool people in there, and you know what I mean. We ain't like. All them other groups, man. You ain't got to worry about people saying, hey, man, that, that ground wire looks like shit, man. You should get sky high wire and, you know, do all this and that. You know what I mean? We ain't about that crap, man. You know, we all start somewhere. You know, work with what you got and make it sound good. That is the number one rule of Base Junkie 2020. Remember that. And no matter how big, how small, if you like it, we love it. And I'm not I'm just saying just me. That's why I say we, because, you know, we got a big following. That's what we do around here, you know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, ain't none of us rich. We just doing what we do. Budget base heads for life, baby. Anyway, let me get this thing done. And uh, let's check out a couple demos, man. All right, some of the foam set up. I'm going to trim this back some. I filled it up. It's got a little hole. I'm going to put some more foam. I got a few more cans. This thing went on good. <coughs> I got it screwed down nice, so once I put the foam on the outside edge, it'll seal it good to the door, you know, so the only place it might escape is right here, we'll figure out something for that, but we're getting pretty sealed, brothers, besides the seatbelt things, so hit that thumbs up. Alright guys, the sun's going down, I did all I could today, I try, I put a lot of work in, dudes. So, uh, I took and, uh, I read the manual on the DD-1. I set it, um, up to distortion, which when I put the multimeter in on it, it was like 5K or something like that. So it was like 2,500 RMS going to each sub, which ain't bad because these are only 1,500. So, you know, so I got to get another, uh, foam, uh, pipe foam piece to put on here close that gap that's all i got left but uh how y'all like that put that clear coat on put a few more coats on and let this dry you know so but i got the foam on this side see how it seals it all the way down so we sealed off you know pretty good we just gotta get that you know like i showed y'all you know i gotta get that piece put on here good design though and all this is sealed off. That foam, I don't know, man. It takes a while for something to drive. I cut that all the piece off, and the whole inside was still sticky. We did it down here, too. Don't ever try to get this off your car. Just wait till it dries, guys, because that's the best thing to do. But we saw the dudes. So, 
let's do a whole i mean uh a quick demo look at that sky ain't that pretty let's do a real quick demo y'all let's end this night i know um let's end this night on a good note i know that um this is a long video i've got a couple days worth of clips uh this was a lot of work and uh it took time you know what i mean so I fell asleep with my phone in my hand last night, so forgive me for that. Just bear with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos, please. Let's get us up to, you know, 5K, then 10K. Join the group if you haven't already. I'm going to start working on the base knob soon, both of them. That way you guys can uh, enter contest because um, I'm trying to give you all time. There's only a few people that's entered, so. But I ain't had time anyway. Street lamp not kicked on. Hopefully we can see a little base action. It's kind of hard to see when it gets darker out. That's why I like to do it earlier. But I had so much work to do. I did get a little earlier clip with the guy from uh, the hardware store, Chris Salone. I appreciate you chilling with us, buddy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be putting more stuff on here. More stickers. Put a little fur, some roundovers on the port. I'm going to keep doing work, dudes. You know what I mean? Got a lot to do still, you know what I mean? So, I had a little foam back here. I got to trim it. Got to trim all that foam, but I filled that gap in. So, we good, you know what I mean? Anyway, let me uh, get in there and do this last demo real quick. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys see how it's done. Puts a lot, put, it's a lot of work and time to do some of these builds but it's worth it in the end you know what i mean i still gotta hook my light up i still gotta hook the voltage meter up it's in the shed i haven't had a chance to do it so i still got a lot of things to do you know more coat clear coat and all that anyway i appreciate each and every one of you guys man you guys have blew this channel up man i really love that man y'all good group of guys man girls too you know love all you guys anyway Stay tuned, man. Big things always coming, man. I, I was supposed to meet up with Boom Day today. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I just ain't had time, y'all. I've been trying to get this done. I can go get Dad, uh, me and Dad some dinner, man. I'm going to hit Lee's Chicken up real quick. I love me some Lee's Chicken, man. You know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Late. Making beats for the streets and ladies creaming in that pap pa po pa de pa Yeah, oh baby Shit sounded like I mean my head felt like I had six of it just kicking me the head at once like a like a garbage truck was parked on my forehead or something Shit felt like my head was gonna cave in Damn straight base Catch y'all in the next one. Yeah.